Hi everyone, there may be some confusion on answering uh, this discussion question and specifically on how to do the correlation matrix. So I'm in StatCrunch here and I show the data set number one for female health exam results. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Stat and then Summary Statistics, go over to Correlation, click on that. Now, what we have to do is pick some quantitative variables. I know the question may say qualitative. That's an error. They're quantitative. And suppose we want to uh, see the correlation between age and weight and waste. And let me pick one other one. And um, cholesterol, for example. Okay? So then I click on those are the, things, those are the variables we're going to look at. Uh, we hit next. We don't care about that. Let's calculate. And this is the correlation matrix. What it says is the R value between weight and age is 0.56. Between waist and age is 0.65. Between waist and weight is a high R of 0.92. It's a strong positive. Cholesterol is 0.3 with age, it's 0.49 with weight, and it's 0.41 with waste. No negative correlations in here. Remember, if you have a negative correlation, it's going to be a minus R. None of these are negative. And, of course, you go into options here, you can copy it uh, and you know, insert it into your discussion post. As, as you know, of course, if you want to go into... Um, the uh, scatter plot, you can, you can uh, go down here to scatter plot, select the column, let's like take height, select the variable, uh, say cholesterol, and create the graph. There you get the scatter plot. And it's important to know the scatter diagram and when you're doing the correlation matrix too. You see this outlier way up here? That's going to have an impact on this value of R. Okay, it could, could be a misread. It's got to be. Somebody has a cluster all over 900. Can't believe that. So, so that's, that's how, how you do, do this. I, 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 uh, and then one other thing, thing, if you want to look, look at the uh, regression, regression, simple linear, linear once again, we can, we can pick, pick out, out uh, height. Uh, we, uh, we can pick, pick out uh, the, this is the correlation between height and cholesterol. cholesterol okay, and, and we can. Uh, just, uh, just calculate. calculate, and there's that table, and here, here is where it shows up at the top here. This is where, where it shows the, the regression equation. The cholesterol is equal to minus 257 plus 7.8 times the person's height. Now, this doesn't make much sense. Uh, look at the correlation. It's 0 0.11, very, very low correlation. So that means, and R squared is 0 0.01, which says that only 1% of the um, cholesterol, cholesterol is, is impacted by height, which makes sense. sense. Height, height does not, not determine cholesterol. cholesterol. And then, um, um, so that, that, this, this is what the important thing is up, up at the top here. Don't worry about these tables. They're not important. Okay, okay I hope this helps. Uh, I'll, I'll post this to the discussion board.